If we want to look at objects that are very, very small, so for example, looking at objects down on the nanoscale, which is around about a billionth of a metre, the type of illumination that we have to use to be able to see these objects has to be around about the same size as the object that we want to look at. So for looking at objects on the nanoscale, one thing we can use is X-rays. Now, X-rays are just a form of electromagnetic radiation, and they have a wavelength of about 0.1 nanometers, which makes them absolutely perfect for looking at very, very small objects, for example, such as nanoparticles. And the way that the X-rays work is what happens is we have a material, and our X-rays can come into the material, and they can hit the atoms, and they can actually be diffracted off the atoms, and they can leave in, in phase with each other what happens is we get constructive interference, and this produces a spot. And the pattern of spots that we get from our diffracted X-rays tells us about the structure of the material that the X-rays have bounced off. So this is a really, really useful tool for looking at not just uh, single crystal samples, for example, like you might see something like table salt, but also looking at things like polymers, looking at metals, and actually looking at biological molecules as well. So X-rays are a really powerful technique for us to learn about the structure and how atoms are arranged, and that tells us more about what the material does as well.